Oh man, this is mind blowing. <laughs> Come in and look at this. So I wanna tell you and share with you according to scripture why God speaks to people in dreams. Job chapter 33 verse 14 says this, for God speaks in one way and in two, though man does not perceive it. Verse 15 says, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon man while they slumber on their beds. Watch this. Now watch this. Verse 16 says this. Then he opens the ears of man and terrifies them with warnings that he may turn man aside from his deeds and conceal pride from a man. So God gives dreams with an intentions out of his love out of the out of desire to pull people away from evil deeds and to take them and pull them away from pride this is only part one i'll make a part two but let's go into a story that describes this and that displays this genesis chapter 20 talks about a man named abimelech he was a king and these were the type of men that were known for that if they seen a woman that was attractive, they would kill or they would do anything that they could just to get the woman. So Abraham out of protection for himself so that he wouldn't get killed. He told Abimelech, he said, Sarah is my sister when in reality it was his wife. So Abimelech ended up taking Sarah to himself. But watch this. Genesis chapter 20 verse 3. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, you are a dead man because you have taken a married woman. And Abimelech said, Whoa, wait a minute. What do you mean? The scripture says that Abimelech hadn't even done anything with her yet. And Abimelech said, Will you kill an innocent person? Did Abraham not say that this was his sister? And she even said that this is my brother. He said, Lord, I did this out of innocence. And God replied and said, yes, I know that you did this out of innocence, but it was I who kept you from sinning against me and I didn't let you touch her. So just like Job chapter 33 says, it says that he will cause terrors in order to keep them from their ways and to keep them from sinning. This is the power of dreams. This is the power of dreams that God will either reveal something to you he will either show you something that's to come into the future or he will show you a dream in order to keep you from sinning and in order to keep you from going down the wrong path. This is just part one. I got a part two coming soon.